In this video, we will continue with algebra and we are going to square binomials. So here we have a bracket. Inside that bracket, we have two terms known as a binomial and we are going to square that bracket. Now the first thing I want to show you that this is not equal to x squared plus y squared. So we simply cannot take the square and place it over every variable. That is incorrect. What we rather want to do is consider the impact of the square. That means we have the bracket x plus y multiplied with itself once. So we have two x plus y brackets. And in one of our previous videos, we learned how to multiply this out. So we take the x in the first bracket and distribute it between the two terms in the second bracket. And then we're going to take the y and multiply it with the two terms in the second bracket. So if you are unsure on what we did in this step, please go watch the video on products of binomials. And as we learned in the previous video, we can add up like terms. And in this case, it is x plus y. And that will be equal to 2xy plus y squared. In our second example, we have 2x minus 3y squared. And again, this is not equal to 4x squared minus 9y squared. So we simply do not take the square and apply it to every term. What we rather want to do is expand. So we have 2x minus 3y times 2x minus 3y. And we'll multiply 2x with 2x and then thereafter 2x with negative 3y. And then negative 3y with 2x and negative 3y with negative 3y. So if we multiply out, we have 4x squared minus 6xy minus 6xy plus 9y squared. And again, we will add up like terms. And in this case, we have negative 6xy and negative 6xy, which are like terms. So our final answer would be 4x squared minus 12xy plus 9y squared. In our third example, we have negative 1 minus 3xy squared. So let us expand. So when we expand, we have two brackets that look exactly the same that we will multiply with each other. And now we will multiply negative 1 with negative 1. That will give us plus 1. And then negative 1 multiplied with negative 3xy, which will give us plus 3xy, then negative 3xy multiplied with negative 1, which will be plus 3xy, and then negative 3xy multiplied with negative 3xy, which will lead to positive 9x squared y squared. So notice in the sum, we multiply a negative 1 with a negative 1. And when we multiply negatives, we got a plus 1. So the answer changed to positive. And that is true for the remainder of the sum. Now amongst these four terms, we only have two terms which are like terms. That is 3xy and 3xy. So our final answer would be 1 plus 6xy plus 9x squared y squared. So remember, when we add up like terms, we simply add the coefficients to each other and we make no changes to the exponents. 